Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a system of two equations. Notice that we have three variables but two equations. So are we going to be able to find numerical values for x, y, z? Well, we can, but there's going to be infinitely many values for which this is going to work. So how is it possible to find this ratio x plus y to x plus z? That's what we're going to talk about. And I'll be presenting two methods, I think. I'm not exactly sure about the first method because I haven't tested it. I'm just going to do it on the fly. Okay? Let's see how that goes. So you can see my thinking process. So we have these two equations, 2x plus y plus z is equal to 11, and x minus y plus 2z, or not 2z, allow me to make that joke real quick. I know it's cheap, but equals 7. So, first of all, think about what we can do from here. I got two equations, so I can solve for at least... Uh, two of them, right? Can I? Okay, let's see how this works. And by the way, we're not necessarily looking for integer solutions, so this is not like a Diophantin system. If I was looking for integer solutions, that would be doable in the general sense because these would be integers. I don't know if there's going to be finitely many solutions with integers. I haven't tested it, but uh, anyways, there's probably infinitely many anyways. So here's my system, and what can I do with this? I do need to find x plus y over x plus z. So I think it makes sense if I can express y and z both in terms of x. Is that possible? Well, uh, we could probably do that. For example, I could try to eliminate at least one of the variables, right? And then go from there. Maybe I can eliminate x and find the relationship between x, uh, y, and z. And then using one of these equations... I can write each one in terms of x. I don't know. I'll just see how this goes. So I want to get rid of x. That's going to be my first approach because I want to be as far away from the second approach as possible. That's why I try to avoid hitting that. So let's go ahead and multiply the second equation by negative 2. That gives us negative 2x plus 2y minus 4z equal to negative 14 and the first equation is 2x plus y plus z equals 11. Let's go ahead and add these up. These two are going to cancel out and now I'm going to end up with 3y minus 3z is equal to negative 3. Awesome. I can basically divide both sides by 3. That gives me y minus z is equal to negative 11 or y is equal to z minus 1. So whatever y is or whatever z is, y is just going to be one less than that. At least I know it, right? So is that going to help me with this expression? Let's find out. So we have this expression. Let's go ahead and rewrite what we are being asked for, x plus y over x plus z. And what happens if I replace y with z minus 1? If I do that here, I get x plus z minus 1 over x plus z. And then it just becomes something weird, right? I don't really get a numerical value. By the way, I forgot to say, but I'm expected to get a numerical value from here. So I didn't get that, but maybe I can plug this into one of these equations and work that way. Oops, I was looking for the eraser. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. So I have y equals z minus 1. Can I just plug it into the first equation to find something? Let's see. If I replace y with z minus 1, then I'm getting 2x plus 2z minus 1 equals 11. And from here, 2x plus 2z is equal to 12. Okay, so I got x plus z is equal to 6. And then since um, I can express z as 6 minus x, and since y is 1 less than that, y is just going to be 5 minus x. Let's go ahead and try these because both of these are in terms of x so hopefully they'll work okay great so let's go ahead and rewrite our original problem what am i trying to find x plus y over x plus z now if i replace z with 6 minus x and y with that so x plus y which is 5 minus x and x plus z which is x plus 6 minus x x is going to cancel out then from here we're going to get 5 over 6 all right, great. So we got a numerical value. That's nice. So that was my goal to write z and y in terms of x. And I was able to do that and plug it in because that leaves us with x only. If there's a numerical value, hopefully that would simplify 
to a numerical value. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the second method and I'm pretty sure you're gonna find a third one, please let me know. So let's rewrite the system. We have 2x plus y plus z is equal to 11. By the way, th there's probably a geometric interpretation of this because these two are planes, aren't they? These two are planes in 3D and they intersect at probably some points, whatever. And x plus y or x plus c must represent something, right? Since it's a constant. Anyways, you'll tell me more about it, hopefully. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Since I'm trying to find x plus y over x plus c, and we kind of went near that with the first method, but I avoided it on purpose, here's what I can do. Instead of getting rid of the x, I want to get rid of the y. And you might be like, why? Because that's going to give me x plus c directly. Look at that. I'm going to add these two equations up. Y is going to cancel out. 3x plus 3z is 18. Divide by 3, you get x plus z. Part of the expression, isn't it? So this is half of the work. Great. So let's go ahead and find the other piece. So remember, I'm trying to find x plus y over x plus z. That's the goal, right? Okay, let's save that for now. Now, I found x plus z. How can I find x plus y? using the exact same equations. So let's kind of rewind and work with these equations again. But this time, we're going to find something else. 2x plus y plus z is equal to 11. x plus y, x minus y I mean, plus 2z is equal to 7. And I'm trying to find this right here. So I do need x plus y from here. How can I find x plus y? If you said, get rid of z, you're totally right about that. That's what I need to do. So how can I do it? Well, I can go ahead and multiply the first equation by negative 2, and that'll do the trick. Let's see. Negative 4x minus 2y minus 2z equals negative 22, and then x minus y plus 2z equals 7. Now let's go ahead and add these up. 2z is going to cancel out, leaving us with negative 3x minus 3y equals negative 15. If you divide both sides by negative 3, guess what you're going to get? x plus y equals 5. And that's actually awesome because that's what I've been looking for. And now remember, x plus y is 5. Let's write it here. And x plus z is 6. And I'm looking for this. So x plus y over x plus z is just going to be 5 over 6. Does that make sense? Okay, so basically, with the first method, I kind of try to avoid getting this directly. So I solve for y and z in terms of x, but first I solve for y in terms of z, and then I solve for x, uh, I solve for z in terms of x, and that gave me y in terms of x, and then I plug those in. Make sense? Okay, great. Awesome. Now, uh, that's pretty much it, and this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.